meteorite expedition. This is the meteorite man. There's Steve Arnold. <laughs> and here's George Knockin. <laughs> and we picked up a third musketeer meteorite hunter, Hannah. <laughs> We're, we're heading out to Philip Halpin, the one of the finders of the famous Lost City Meteorite. We should be there in about an hour, so over and out.
small one. Yeah, here's the real small one. No, oh, there was another smaller one than that. What? We're going backwards now. <laughs> I think we went too far. Continue on West Phillip Group Road for a half mile. Should have had all GPS's going. Philip, help him! Hey, Philip! We've arrived at Philip Halpin's. Caleb? Hannah. Hannah. Yep, this is my son Caleb and uh, Hannah. And this is Mr. Halpin, and he's bringing out his Lost City meteorite fragment. There it is, folks. Awesomely cool. <laughs> Uh, on top of the oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. This is awesome. That was on top of the house. Oh wow. This is what they call a hammer stone because it hammered your house. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. And it was laying up on top oh there in the valley. Oh my goodness. And this one they didn't need, they didn't even know about the huh. oh okay. They, they but they knew they, they still knew, don't know about that. They knew about these two here, these yeah. ones. Oh okay. Oh wow. That's heavy. Yeah, that's why they're uh, the, the iron inside. Yeah, and this is what they call it, H5 chondrite. Yeah, it was snow on from where it, oh, where it, it come yeah, down. If it wouldn't have been for snow, you probably never would have found uh, it. Yeah. Oh, wow. No. No. Uh, so people were already out looking for it? Oh, yeah, they're out about a half mile over here. And, and yeah, you can look at it, Hannah. This is all a Philip, Philip Helping's information about the Lost City meteorites. And got so much here. <laughs> Feel so honored for him letting us take a look at this. Thank you so much, sir. I really do appreciate it. Got all these different news clippings. There's so much here. <laughs> Prairie Meteorite Network. This is the bright fireball paper. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, wow, that's a beautiful picture. They gave you this, huh? Wow. This is on the internet. This is the fireball right here. Some information on the back of that. Right here too. How did you get a picture of that? Camera network. They had the 16 cameras, uh, seven states. This is Mr. Halpin, and he's holding my meter right here. It's called Jehovah Jireh. It means God's my provider. And I found this one. I wrote a story about it. Where this is uh, Philip Halpin holding gluteus. I named named it after my butt. <laughs> <laughs> gluteus Maximus. <laughs> So you can talk <laughs> while well, I'm talking. <laughs> we have Virginia helping here too. She's just come from the outside. And she's got hat hair like me, so she don't want to be <laughs> in this video. So you can hear her voice in the background. So if there's a few words she'd like to say for this video, she's welcome to say. It's been so long ago that it's not really. What year was it? It's seventy. 1970, yeah. Mm -hmm. On January, th it's 45 years to last this past month, so. Okay. Uh, I was working at the college at Northeastern at Tahlequah whenever this happened. Uh huh. And you were staying in the dorm? Yeah, I stayed, had to stay in the dorm that night because I couldn't get home. Oh my goodness. 
And you heard the sonic boom where Philip was sleeping no, through it? I you didn't. Did, you didn't hear it? Oh, okay. So. But my, my aunt lived about a mile and a quarter from us here, and their picture window said just lit, lit up. Lit up? Oh, my goodness. Like a bright light. Oh, wow. Yeah. Lacey, come yeah, on. Well, gets a camera she takes it. Well, we're leaving Mr. Halpin's house and the full moon's ri rising. And also next to it, there's another special sign of another planet. I would imagine that's Jupiter, where this meteorite came from in between Jupiter and Mars. This is awesome. Just come out from seeing the Lost City Meteorite and we've got this cool moon and Jupiter side by side. This must be some kind of sign from heaven. Look at that. This is so awesome. This sign of a full moon and Jupiter. Here's a strange star way off in the distance. I don't know if I'm picking it up, but it could be a comet or something. I think I'm saying it is. I don't want to think about it. How about a fish sandwich, man? Oh, you said that. Yeah, I know. Ninety first in the air.